Organizations that use Okta will be very familiar with using it to control access to applications like Office 365. If I sign into my Office 365 account using Okta, I may be challenged to use a two-factor authentication mechanism in order to gain access. And when I authorize myself on the phone, I'm logged into Office 365 successfully. Now, once I've gained access into Office 365, an integration with Netscope can actually help manage a user's activities within an app. So for example, if I wanted to validate someone it truly intended to delete data from within my environment, I could actually challenge them for two-factor authentication when they perform that action. And by clicking on OK within this window, once again on my phone, I'll be prompted to verify my identity. And you can see that the deletion took place once I'd successfully authenticated. Here within my Netscope console, just below my policy for confirming deletion with two-factor authentication, I'm also asking the user to verify their identity when they upload sensitive data into the environment. You can see here we're using a data loss prevention profile that's going to identify internal use documents. So this means if when I'm accessing OneDrive, I attempt to upload a file which actually contains a document marking that suggests it's internal use only, Netscope will recognize that text and prevent the upload from taking place unless I complete my authentication with Okta. So once again, I click on OK to send a challenge to my phone. And only once that's been accepted will the upload complete. And we see it there within OneDrive. So what I've shown is how Okta and Netscope can work together to provide an enhanced layer of security, specifically around data protection within the cloud.